If you've liked my previous CNC videos, you're gonna love this. I have here today the Genmitsu 3020 Pro Ultra, their newest entry into their Pro series, sent for me to put to the test and review. Rigidity is what makes this small CNC a beast. It comes with steel X-axis guide rails which have absolutely no wobble, making for precise and powerful cuts, which are also possible because of the huge stepper motors, 60mm name out motors, which pack a ton of torque. The spindle is a router, so you need to turn it on and off manually, it's not controlled by the CNC or the software. You set the speed on this wheel and it goes from 7000 to 30,000 RPM, enough to do all wood types and soft metals like aluminum or brass, as you'll see later in this video when I cut some aluminum myself. Installation was as simple as it gets. You hold the top part over the base, add the bolts on both sides, then you just add the spindle holder and the spindle and you're pretty much done. Very simple. I could have done it without the great instructions it comes with, but they're there if you need them. It comes with two accessories. The Z probe lets the machine know exactly the distance from the spoil board by tapping the top of it with the tip of the bit. The offline controller lets you use this machine without connecting to a computer. You put your files on a SD card inserted here and then run directly from the CNC. I'll test this feature later in the video. The control board area has a nice big fan to keep it cool and seems sealed from any dust or debris getting into it. The cable management system is pretty amazing on this. I love the look of the rails as it goes left and right folding onto itself, making me forget there's even cables. Now let's actually use this and review the Genmitsu 320 Pro Ultra. The first thing I did to test it out is make a nice hardwood sign for it, negatively carving out the letters and numbers. I did this with an eighth of an inch single flute flat bit that I got from Genmitsu on Amazon. The links to the machine and all the accessories are in the description if you want to check them out. While you're at it, please like and subscribe. I love to show you more content like this soon again. I was impressed on how buttery smooth it just ran through it. You can feel that the movements aren't even slowed down by the torque of the bit hitting the wood, which I've often seen on my lower end model with less rigidity and power. This thing just plows through projects and has a work time closer to the estimates of the design programs that I use. The sign is now done. It'll hang at the top of the cabinet that I made specifically for this CNC. Right away, I wanted to try a bigger and deeper cut, making a bowl with now the quarter inch bit instead of the eighth inch bit. This was quite a bit louder as you can see, but no sign of slowing down, it did great and fast, very fast. I was amazed how quick this was done. Now let's talk accessories. As you probably saw, I have an MDF spoil board that I made myself to protect the machine's aluminum base when doing throughout cuts like this. Next, I 3D printed a vacuum attachment that I'll use when doing wood projects as it can add up real quick if you don't. Genmitsu offers a vacuum attachment. I just like making stuff when I can, but I'll leave a link to theirs in the description too. Finally, my favorite, although not necessary add-on, is this clamping system. I plan to make some precise metal parts as you'll see soon in this video and this is just perfect for it. You can hold on to stuff in many ways, flat or irregular, and it's very strong. It bolts down with bolts and clamps onto the aluminum spoil board. Here I'm cutting into a blank coaster that I made a while ago on my 4040 Reno. I want to test out the engraving capabilities of the 3020 Pro Ultra using the 90 degree V-bit that I bought. I prepared a cut in FreeCAD and ran it with the offline controller to give it a try. Engraving this went great, and the 90 degree V-bit as I expected makes it nice and readable from a distance. As you can see the clam made holding the piece super simple, with its round side or not, it would have been possible to do it of course, but it sure makes it simpler and more enjoyable. Now 
let's see what this CNC can do to metal. I bought a few different formats of aluminum, as you'll see, with some projects in mind. But this big plate, I mostly got it to test this machine, so let's do that now. I want to start with simple pockets and see what kind of chips I'll be getting, with the speeds that I suspect will be close to wood, but with a much faster spindle. To clear out chips with aluminum cutting, you need compressed air and I've got what it takes with my compressor and air gun. There's a system to do this automatically, but for now, I'm gonna do it this way. My test cuts were successful a 1 cm hole and a rectangular pocket with rounded corners. I'm now ready to cut actual things. What I plan to cut and make a copy of is this XYZ probe that you might have seen if you watched my 4th axis rotary module video. It's a probe that lets you find your Z point, but also a specific X and Y point relative to the placement of this probe. I designed it in FreeCAD by taking measurements on the one that I have here and making almost exactly the same. I set up the piece of aluminum with double sided tape to avoid my part going flying when it's finally cut from the slab. I press start and watch it go, for about 40 minutes total. You want to adjust the settings until you have nice big chips of aluminum and not dust resulting in your cuts. This is called the chip load and there's a bunch of variables outside of the scope of this video to find out how fast, deep and wide you want your cut. Once the throughout hole is done, it gets to cutting down half of the thickness of the platform to 5 mm. Next, it cuts some canals on the side that I added so that dust can't prevent it from sitting nice and square. Finally, the moment of truth. It's time to cut the part out, and it did that perfectly. My part is done, taking about 20 more minutes than the estimated 40 minutes for about an hour total. The finish is amazing, here is the final result. This is super cool, and I'm very excited to start making my own tools, modifications, or anything else. I hope this showed how powerful this desktop CNC is, going from a block of aluminum to a 1cm thick part, fully milled and finished, ready to be used. It sure impressed me and opens up a ton of possibilities as a creator. Thanks to Genmitsu for sending me the 3020 Pro Ultra to review and create with. Thanks to all subscribers and see you next time.